Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Schaefer. Welcome to Sunday School. And our lesson this week is called The Weekend Judge. And it is about the story of Samson. And if you want to get your Bibles out, you can look at uh, the book of Judges. And it's chapter 16, verses 4 through 31. So can you flex your muscles? Show me your muscles. Oh, those are so strong. How do you get so strong? What are some ways you keep your body nice and healthy? Can you tell me? Okay, some of you exercise and you run around and play. That keeps your muscles nice and strong. What else? You eat good food. That keeps you big and strong. Gives your body energy that you need to run and play and grow. Oh yeah, getting enough sleep. That's another great answer. So that's necessary for our bodies to stay strong and healthy too. But what about God's word? God's word makes us strong in a different way. So God works through his word to make us strong in faith so we can serve him. So all of those things we mentioned, getting enough food and rest and exercise and God's word help us to make better helpers to serve God um, by serving his neighbor. And in today's story, we are going to learn about an, a man named Samson, and he was very strong so he could help God's people. So let's listen to the story, and we will see what happened. So some enemies called the Philistines came and ruled God's people. The Philistines didn't believe in God. God's people prayed, dear God, please help us fight these enemies. God listened to the prayers of his people, and one day he sent an angel to tell a man and woman that they would have a special baby boy. One day when your boy grows up, he will save God's people from their enemies, the angel told them. The angel also told them God makes this special promise. He does not want you to cut your boy's hair. God will make him strong. So when their baby was born, born his parents named him Samson. And God kept his promise. He made Samson very strong so he could help God's people. Samson did many good things to help God's people. When he fought the enemies, God helped him win. But one day, Samson did a foolish thing. He became friends with a bad woman named Delilah. And Delilah was a Philistine. Remember, Philistines were enemies of God's people. And Delilah wanted to know why Samson was so strong. Over and over, she begged him. Why are you so strong? Please tell me. But Samson would tease her and play tricks on her. He'd tell her one thing, but not the true reason for why he was so strong. So she kept on pestering him. Tell me the secret of your strength. Finally, Samson got tired of her pestering and told her, he said, I promise God never to cut my hair and God promised to make me strong. Delilah waited until Samson went to sleep. And then she ran to tell the enemy what Samson's secret was. Hurry and cut his hair now while he's sleeping, she said, and they did. When Samson woke up, he wasn't strong anymore. The enemies tied him up. They also hurt his eyes so he could never see again. One day, the enemies were having a big party. They brought Samson to the party so they could make fun of him and of God. And they told Samson between two big, they put Samson between two big pillars of the building they used to worship their false God, not the real God. Samson prayed to God, oh Lord, please make me strong just one more time. I want to help save your people. Then Samson began to push on the pillars that held up the temple of the church of the false God. Crack, creak, the big pillars began to break. They fell to the ground. The temple church of the false God fell down too on all of the enemies. God had answered Samson's prayer. The Lord gave Samson strength to help his people. God made Samson special. God gave Sam Samson his great strength so he could serve God and God's people. But Samson wasn't strong enough to take away his own sins. Only God can do that. That's why God sent Jesus. Jesus is stronger than anything or anyone, even the devil. So Jesus is, um, he died on the cross to pay for our sins and he rose again. And he did that so we could be forgiven and live with him forever. And here's a picture of 
when Samson pushed on the big beams of the temple and they cracked down on the enemy. So our Bible words today are some of my favorite. It's my confirmation verse, actually. God the Lord is my strength. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. So can you say those words with me? God the Lord is my strength. It's so important to remember that everything that we have and everything that we do is how God made us special. And in many different ways, it is how we help other people. So let's fold our hands and pray. Dear God, you know all about us. You made us special in many different ways. Thank you for your holy word, which makes us strong in faith so we can be helpers and show love for others. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Sunday School today, and we hope to see you again next week. Have a great week. Bye.